Today we have a great, inexpensive, portable monitor for your Mac, among other things. Let's talk about it. So welcome back to the channel. Now what I'm gonna do today is I have another product showcase. You know I don't do full reviews, I just showcase the product and then I put the link in the description for you to go check out yourself. So that's what I have today. And what I have is a great portable travel monitor. You can see it right here. This is the InnoView. I'll have close-ups as I'm talking just so you guys can take, take a close-up of the box and stuff. But it's basically the InnoView. It's a 15.6 inch portable monitor and it's an IPS display. Now the model number is INVPM001-02. B. It's a mouthful, but it's by InnoView right here, and they make a, a whole bunch of different ones, right? This is going to be their like kind of least expensive one. So if we look over at my screen over here, I want to show you a couple things really quickly. So here it is. It's $179.99, but that's not really the price that I that I got. So this is how much it is right now if you log if you don't log into your Amazon Prime account or whatever. But if you do log into your Amazon Prime account, and I just did this today. It was actually $139.99. You can see it right here. So it's going to be obviously 30% off. So obviously you see that price difference and definitely look for this price, the one about $140. That's a really good price for this monitor if you can pick it up for that. So let's just start there. Um, you know, if you can get that cost you know, around that $140 or even $150, that's going to be a good cost on this monitor. All right. So again, this is an HDR. It's three mega, what is it, three millisecond uh, as far as the response time on this. 16.7 million colors on this display, and it uses Type C, which I'll get into in a second. All the different ports and everything. It's 8-bit color depth, and it says contrast ratio is 1,000 to 1. All right. So why do you pick one of these things up? Well, these things are just great to have. Like like I'm using right now, I can use it as something I'm looking at when I'm talking to you. I can use it as a travel monitor. Um, but the thing is, is you know I'm a Mac channel, right? So I wanted to make sure this worked perfectly for Macs. That was my main concern. And that's really what I tested today. Um, Overall, though, let me just kind of set the stage for this. If, if you're not a Mac person, this will work with just a, a ton of different things, all right? So it works with, you know, it'll work with your smartphone, believe it or not. Let me see here, tablet, you know, PC, either Windows or Mac, your MacBook again, your Switch. It also works with like the Xbox console. I'm just looking at all this stuff, a DSLR camera you can use. Um, you know, just all different things can work with this thing because of the number of ports it has, right? And that's one thing is to keep in mind that this works with just about any device, but I'm testing on a MacBook. Sitting down over here, you might not be able to see it, but I'll bring it in the screen. I have it connected right now to my M1 MacBook Air, and that's what I'm testing with. And it's going right into here, and it's actually, I'll show you some close-ups, but it's basically, go, uh, and there's no power right now. Here's the power cable over here. It's not connected. So you can use this if you're traveling without any power connected in. You just have to make sure that it goes in through the right connection. There's a lot of different connections on this thing. Um, now, the reason I like this overall is because it is, it's made out of kind of an aluminum, um, and I'll show you close-ups as I'm talking, but it's got like this kind of, almost like an airline quality aluminum to it for 140 bucks. Really nice. The stand is super easy. It folds in and out, as I'll show you on the video. Very, very easy. The stand is actually full metal as well. It's not plastic, so it feels really good in the hands overall. All right, and it has a lot of different ports as well. On one side, it has a power, the brightness, a USB-C, and a headphone jack. And this does; these do have speakers on them. And then on the other side, it has two USB-C in a what is this? A mini HDMI. So there's a lot of different ways you can connect, and I you know, recommend going to the Amazon page to, to look into all that kind of stuff, depending on what your system is. I'm connecting simply through a USB-C cable. This thing comes with a lot of different cables it actually has in the box. So I'll show you a page here really quickly, but it has a USB-C to USB-C, has the power adapter, has USB-C to USB-A, has a USB-C to USB female, has an HDMI to mini HDMI, and it has a cleaning cloth. So it's got a ton of different cables that come with it if you need it, and it has a warranty card for it says uh, 18 month warranty and a, and a number to reach them for, for you know if you need service and stuff, which is really nice. But here's all the cables down here. I'll show you close-ups of those things as well. Overall, now, you know, what are you going to get for 140 bucks, right? Well, I'll tell you one thing right now. In this room, I mean, my room is not super lit up right now, but it's super, it's bright enough, right? Now, InnoView makes a whole bunch of different models here. They make um, a couple different models that you'll see. Some of them are more expensive. And those other ones are a little bit brighter. This one in particular is kind of their, their budget one. And if you look down, let me just see if I can get to like the specs of this thing down here. It's basically, I believe it's got, it's a 15.6 inch 1080p. So 1080p is important obviously, but it's 250 nits of brightness, all right? Now you may ask yourself, is that bright enough? It's plenty bright. I have it all the way up right now on my screen. It's plenty bright for this type of environment. If you're gonna be in direct sunlight, maybe, maybe not. 
right? Just keep that in mind. When I did plug this in though, the funny thing is, is just, just keep this in mind, is there's kind of a brightness switch over here and it was basically to zero. So I was struggling. I set it up, I had no idea what's going on, nothing was coming up. The brightness was all the way down, I turned it up and it actually came up. So that's just a tip. I don't know if it always ships like that or not, but that's what happened to me. So overall though, the brightness is very, you know, I think it's good enough for, for this type of a monitor, right? This is gonna be something that's gonna be in a pinch or a secondary screen. It's never gonna be as good as your MacBook or your iMac or something, but it is pretty, pretty clear and it does do, you know, YouTube great and, and you can see text. It's pr pretty clear actually on text. It does have an anti-glare screen and viewing angles are pretty good. Now, they're not going to be great, but they're actually way better than I think because it is an IPS um, display like it mentioned. And uh, it's, you know, 16.7 million colors, full HD. It's actually a pretty solid screen for the money. And, and like I said, I, I'm not doing a full review, but I do recommend it for that reason, all right? Now, you can also change the orientation of this if you like to do stuff like this. You could have it sit like this. Obviously, with the cable, though, we've run into the same problem where you're going to have it maybe sticking up like this like this if you want to do that sorry about this i haven't planned for this but basically see the cable if you do it on the other side you have to kind of put it at the end of the desk because it's going to hit the cable and just keep that in mind if you're buying this for that type of orientation but overall um you know i can't complain about it at all basically what i think is important is just showing people the overall look and feel of this device it's plug and play with uh, the macbooks and my imac over here so i had no problem setting that up now it does work the reason why do you need this power cable is a lot of people ask that question as well. Well, if you plug a device into here, like a phone or something, a lot of times it's not powerful enough, like an iPhone, for example, or an Android phone, which will work with this. It's not powerful enough, the phone, to actually bring up this screen here because it can't transfer the power enough. So that's where this comes in. So keep in mind that you don't want to throw this out. You may need it for certain devices that can't power this off their own power. But my M1 MacBook Air, which is not the biggest laptop in the world, can do it fairly easy here. Um, when I set everything up, I had a couple little glitches here and there. I think it was my fault. I eventually got it to work and everything's been super solid and working really well right now for me. So overall, you know, I have no complaints at all with this. The colors are bright. Um, and it's kind of a joy to use, actually. It's very simple. The design, again, like I said, is full aluminum. The stand will actually fold in and out. And I show you some of the ports again there. Um, but it's a very, very thin monitor. I don't know if you can get this on camera or not. But I mean, up here, it's actually way thinner than my phone along the edge up here. It's obviously thicker down where the ports are. But the actual device itself is like a very cold to the touch aluminum black here. And, uh, and I do believe they make some higher models that have silver and different stuff. So check out all their models because, I mean, again, their other ones are a little bit brighter. But for the quality you get of this thing, I was actually shocked. I was expecting it to be full plastic, and it is full metal here, which is great. And the thickness of it is incredible. So what I recommend doing is, you know, the one thing that none of these things come with is a carrying case because you would scratch this if you just put the screen in a bag or something. So I just recommend, you know, picking up something like this. You know, it's a little teeny folder that's made out of felt and uh, it's got a nice inside to it so you just basically slide this in make sure it fits the 15.6 inches or 15 what is it 15.6 inches and you're golden you can take that wherever you want and uh, you don't even need this power cable once you've determined that your laptop will power it right um, all right so i mean this is basically my my showcase of the video i'm not going to go ahead and do a full review because like i said i take these i get a lot of these things let's just be honest and I'm using one here, I'm using one downstairs, I have one my brother's using. There's a lot of things going on, but we don't, haven't used them long enough. I don't know if this is gonna last a full year or what have you, so I don't wanna give you like a full recommendation. But initial thoughts on this is it's very, the screen is actually surprisingly good. Not the brightest, but it's bright enough for this room and a lot of other scenarios. So I'm not, I wouldn't complain for the 140 bucks at all. So, I mean, obviously if you need, a, if you're just really sensitive to brightness, then maybe you wanna get a different device. But I think overall, this is actually really good. Um, it does come with speakers as well. And the speakers are a little bit tinny and stuff. I'd always use the, the main speakers on the, my main MacBooks. So I, I don't wanna give, you know, I can't really give advice there. I guess in a pinch, if you need them, they're there, maybe better than your phone or something. But as far as I always keep my sound on my laptop or then my iMac, I don't want to put it on a little device like this. So they're not, not great, but, but they're there, which is a positive, right? All right, so overall, it's the InnoView. And again, look out for the pricing. and can range depending on if you're logged into your account or not. I'll have links to all this in the description. But I really just want to showcase, you know, what's available. I mean, this is something for 140 bucks that comes with one, two, three, four, 
five different cables. I mean, just the cables in themselves. I mean, this one's a cable that converts USB-C to USB-A. And then we got the mini HDMI cable, and we got a power cable, and we got the USB-C cable. If you added all the cables together, you're probably at 50 bucks right there. And then you got this beautiful monitor, aluminum, um, that works pretty good so far with all my devices, so I can't complain, right? At the end of the day, you know what I always say is, check the links out, do your own research. I don't like recommending anything. I'm kind of taking a different stance on this because everyone else out there does reviews and they go into super high-end technical details. I'm just showcasing things. I'm showing you guys what's available. You guys can do your own research, but at least you get to see the product. And if it piques your interest, it piques your interest, find out more in the link. And uh, this thing I think has a, I think it's a 4.4 or 4.5. Uh, it's got 1,407 ratings, so 1,407 ratings at Amazon, so it's pretty good there as well. And uh, But again, you can obviously read all the reviews and figure out what's good for you again. So I'll talk to you guys soon, and uh, you know I make videos every two to three days, and I make all different types of things. Check out my video on my uh, external storage that does almost 3,000 megabytes per second. Did that a couple weeks ago, and we will talk to you soon. Peace.